Well, it's a Friday and it's late in the day. The news is good. I finally got this thing working on uh, CW mode, constant wave mode. Sorry, it's upside down, but hey. So, to run CW on these things, you gotta put it in uh, CW like that. Put in the Morse code key in the back like that. There's the Morse code key. You adjust this delay back here for a suitable delay for your Morse code. So the transmitter will key. And then when you put the key down, it'll transmit. So as a demo. Pretty cool, huh? So it's working. Um, the problem I found was people were kind of mucking around with this thing. I found this board here. This is the one that controls the uh, mic key and the transmit. It wasn't even screwed down. So I hadn't looked at this transmitter in a long time. I cleaned it up, I remember, and uh, fixed a few things on it. And then I just haven't been using it, so I decided to sell it. And I thought it was all ready to go. And I'm glad nobody bought this thing because... It wasn't quite ready yet, so it's ready now. I found the previous owner had this board unscrewed, so I put some screws in it. This resistor here was out, it wasn't being used. This diode here was uh, shorted, I put a new one in. This capacitor here, 0.1, these are always bad, so I put a new capacitor in there. In fact, I put a new one in here too, and I think this thing is ready to go. Replace the uh, fuse over here. And I cleaned up all the switches a long time ago in this thing, but and I just gave it a tune-up today, so it works. Transmits nice on the bands now. Oh, I think it's ready to go. The power supply is all fixed over there with new capacitors. Um, I think this radio's good to go. I'm gonna put it back together, and it's on eBay. And I hope people enjoy it. It's a uh, good little rig. And I'm glad that uh, it's transmitting now on CW, which is interesting. So now when the CW key is pulled out, it will transmit like it should. You can increase it by increasing its delay. It'll never transmit though beyond its delay. So that's what's interesting. You can't key down this thing and leave it keyed, which, which is pretty cool. So Drake had some ingenious ideas with this thing, that's for sure. I couldn't really figure the circuit out. The circuit's bizarre. So here's the, uh, the circuit on this thing, and uh, I could not figure out really how it worked. Ah, those, those guys in the 60s were geniuses. So, so Drake, um, the key goes into here. I trace this wiring out. I think I either place that one or one over here or this one, I'm not sure, but and I'm in a point one. So here's that. There's no point one here. I must have replaced this thing here, this over here, and and this one. As that wasn't really keying right. So there was probably nothing wrong on this side of it. I just traced all through to figure all these wires out, and then I found a short here. I thought it shorted out, so I traced this wire down here. And it turns out the radio was left in tune mode, and that does short this wire out for tune mode. So uh, that took a while to figure out, and it was a non-problem. But hey, it all turned out well. Yeah, this thing uses some ingenious circuitry to key the relay. So it uses the uh, Vox mode for voice. And on tune mode, it uses a little um, tuning signal, which is a, a sine wave at about uh, 1500 hertz. There's about 40 volts here on uh, on the keying line, so minus 40 volts. They must use the bias there somehow, so uh, I can show you that real quick. Yeah, I thought, you know, this is never gonna work unless I see some, uh, some minus voltage on there, some kind of voltage on the key, there's nothing there. And actually, I think I had put this together and um, I was taking off this wire down here to the bucket and that wire was simply 
hanging in the air. So I clipped it and never put it back on. So I probably spent half an hour trying to fix something that wasn't connected. Anyway, that's all done now. And you can see the voltage here on the key. There's a key wire right there. Uh, it's got about what? It's got about minus 39 volts for the key. So not enough to shock you, but that's that's how it rolls. So happy days it's working. Anyway, that's my short little video on the Drake uh, T4XB. I think this puppy is ready to go now. Yeah, so in CW, it should put out full power, and I'm on 80 meters now. So if I go to back to tune mode here on 80 and take this to tune, there's my light right there. It's pretty darn bright as it is. Make sure it's peaked up here. And if I go to CW, check it brighter, I think. Let's see if it does that. CW, brighter. Not at all. And as I recall, to tune it in CW, you have to tune it differently. It doesn't seem like I can make CW stay on here with the key button. There it goes. So, one of these settings I think has to be altered. Because it does use the locks to use CW for some reason. That's how Drake did it. That's how Milt Sullivan made it work. I still don't understand some of the rig circuits at all. It's a little more lag. That leaves it on a bit longer. All right, so that use it up forever which is what you want so my gosh all this messing around huh on the box circuit and they're untransmitted there so I guess I can turn this down now so you can hear a little relay in here you can see it moving there it'll, it'll kick up when it's done transmitting we're done being ready to transmit so you can see how I'm using this delay here to change that in the back. Yep, this thing's working as intended now. It's working really well, so I'm happy with it, finally. All right, so I was saying on, on CW, the power is different, so you can pull this key out to let it key on its own now, and it'll not going to be in mode. And so in tune mode here, it shows more power, but actually there's more power in CW mode. So if I go back to CW mode here and tune the plate a bit, it's a bit different, I think. No, load, no. I always thought that this had more power in CW mode. And in CW mode, does this do anything here? The game. It does. Okay, okay, yeah, there's more power. So you can see I'm probably getting about over 100 watts out now when I, whoa, crank up the gain. It really, really runs. So yeah, there is more power in CW mode. So there's CW mode. Um, and we go back now to tune mode. There's tune. So in tune, I'm gonna get about, about that much power, which seems almost the same. In CW mode here, um, CW mode, getting out maybe a little more power, not much more. I'm gonna burn that light bulb out, huh? Oh wow, no, there is more power in CW mode. It definitely is a. It's on, yeah. So the light bulb's gonna burn up. <laughs> it's like putting a hundred something watts now, so 120 or something. So light bulb's gonna burn out. All right, so the radio is uh, is I deem it fixed, finally. Ready for shipping to somebody who wants a great radio and they're gonna run it on CW, okay? So, thanks for watching, have a great day.